centers of influence and training. The Lord has ordained that sanitariums be established in many places to stand as memorials for Him. This is one of His chosen ways of proclaiming the third angel's message. By this means, the truth will reach many who, but for these agencies, would never be lightened by the brightness of the gospel message. In the presentation of truth, some will be attracted by one phase of the gospel message and some by another. We are instructed by the Lord to work in such a way that all classes will be reached. The message must go to the whole world. Our sanitarium work is to help make up the number of God's people. Through this line of missionary effort, infidels will be converted. By the wonderful restorations taking place in our sanitariums, many will be led to look to Christ as the healer of soul and body. Self-sacrificing workers who have full faith in God should be chosen to take charge of these institutions. Wise men and women acting in the capacity of nurses are to comfort and help the sick and suffering. Our sanitariums are to be as lights shining in a dark place because physicians, nurses, and helpers reflect the sunlight of Christ's righteousness. Sanitariums are to be so established and conducted that they will be educational in character. They are to show to the world the benevolence of heaven. Though Christ's visible presence is not discerned, yet the workers may claim the promise, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Read Matthew 28, verse 20. He has assured his followers that to those who love and fear him, he will give power to continue the work that he began. He went about doing good, teaching the ignorant, healing the sick. His work did not stop with an exhibition of his power over disease. He made each work of healing an occasion of implanting in the heart the divine principles of his love and benevolence. Thus his followers are to work. Christ is no longer in this world in person, but he has commissioned us to carry forward the medical missionary work that he began. And in this work we are to do our very best. For the furtherance of this work, institutions for the care of the sick are to be established where men and women suffering from disease may be placed under the care of God-fearing physicians and nurses. In our sanitariums, truth is to be cherished, not banished nor hidden from sight, and from them the ray of present truth is to shine forth in clear, distinct rays. These institutions are the Lord's agencies for the revival of a pure, elevated morality. We do not establish them as a speculative business, but to help men and women to follow right habits of living. Those who are now ignorant are to become wise. Suffering is to be relieved and health restored. People are to be taught how, by exercising care in their habits, they may keep well. Christ died to save men from ruin. Our sanitariums are to be his helping hand, teaching men and women how to live in such a way as to honor and glorify God. If this work is not carried on in our sanitariums, those who are conducting them will make a great mistake. <laughs>